My name is Philip Maris. I'm the CEO of uh, Maris Consulting. Uh, I'm here in the Le Bourget uh, Airport in Paris, France, and I'm uh, in the Embraer Executive Jet Facility uh, with Sébastien Albuy, who's going to present himself and explain uh, why we're here. Hi, Philip. Um, so I'm the director of the Embraer Executive Jet Service Center in Paris, Le Bourget. Um, we belong to uh, Embraer, third aircraft manufacturer in the world. Uh, and in the business unit of um, the executive jet business unit. Um, our mission is to uh, uh, provide maintenance services to uh, our customers flying in the region, uh, Europe, Middle East and Africa. And uh, um, we are positioned in Paris Le Bourget because um, Paris Le Bourget is the uh, first uh, executive jet airport um, in Europe, Africa, Africa and Middle East, uh, and the number five in the world. What, what challenges were you, were you facing here? So um, our main challenges were um, availability to our customers and um, uh, a, a way indirectly to increase uh, our uh, profitability. Um, so uh, the lead um, uh, KPI is the uh, uh, aircraft downtime, that we call turnaround time, TAT for short. Um, basically, uh, the more, the shorter the turnaround time, the higher the availability of the customer, the higher the satisfaction of the customer as well, because he has his aircraft, which is huge investment available to fly. Um, an aircraft on the ground takes space, and in our hangar, it translates into a uh, hangar occupancy. So the shorter the downtime, the uh, uh, higher the uh, space uh, availability to take on another uh, another customer. So we increase customer satisfaction because we are able to propose more slots to our customers and uh, doing so we improve our results, our financial results. Okay, and in your facility you have to do uh, big jobs and small jobs if I take the, 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 the car analogy. Uh, you've got customers that come by for a very small puncture or whatever, and then you have the, 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 the big jobs where you do uh, uh, the equivalent of a 100-mile uh, checkup or the 96 months as it is in, in, uh, in your business. Absolutely. Um, in aerospace, for obvious reasons, the, um, uh, it, it is business that is very, very regulated by EASA, by, uh, and um, uh, as such, we... we uh, uh, we have to comply and to follow very strict rules in terms of maintenance, in terms of airworthiness. Um, so uh, we can distinguish, as you mentioned, two maintenance types. Uh, the first is the scheduled maintenance. Um, every year or every six months, we have a scheduled maintenance task. It is very similar to what you have on your car, except mm -hmm. that it's probably more lengthier, lengthy. Um, and uh, you have unscheduled maintenance events that can happen in between. Mm -hmm. uh, so our job is, uh, we have two, two missions, um, have availability and provide availability for these maintenance, base maintenance or scheduled maintenance inspe inspections and be available so to go out and uh, rescue our customers in need. Okay. And so your, your, your main challenges in terms of improvement of performance you're looking for was to, to reduce that uh, turnaround time to make sure that the plane, between the moment it arrives and the moment it, it's uh, been checked out and, and all okay, uh, to, to reduce that down that downtime to a minimum. Absolutely. Okay. okay. While at the same time uh, dealing with the business that came, comes by the door of a, of a puncture or, or Absolutely. Okay. Our main... Uh, Let's say the, the, the rule of our business is, uh, although we, t we talk about uh, scheduled inspections, um, the, uh, a, a very important factor that we have to take into account is variability. Mm -hmm. And everything around it is variability. And, and although we, uh, uh, the, the, the big chunk of uh, what we do is scheduled, everything that comes around uh, is going to disturb this, this scheduling. So it's, it's th this, uh, taking this into account and finding a method to uh, deal with it is, is paramount to the success of our mission. Can you tell me uh, what the situation was before your, your, your transformation, what the, the status was uh, at the beginning? Absolutely. We, we, we were in a situation of uh, uh, lack of organizational focus. 
um, due to our um, to historical re reasons. Okay, we, we grew along uh, with the uh, we grew in terms of uh, manpower and competencies in, in along with the uh, um, our, our fleet growth, um, and uh, um, we did not have a clear understanding of where was the priority in the hangar between the various projects that we had. We were, let's say, um, under the um, uh, influence of uh, two rules, the rules of uh, Parkinson, the Parkinson law, that is uh, uh, more time you have, uh, more time you take to perform an action. Um, and uh, the student law, that's the, you, you do everything at the last minute. Uh, we were not focusing on projects uh, or managing projects in a way that was allowing us to properly uh, accompany the progression of a, uh, an inspection um, and uh, um, we, we, we didn't have a, an, an accurate or uh, a critical chain understanding and management that was good enough. To, to give us this real-time knowledge so that uh, we would uh, uh, um, avoid uh, all the, situ the, the, the feeling that we had you know, uh, as lack of organization, uh, multitasking, heavy multitasking, not knowing where, where, where our priorities were, um, and micromanagement, because obviously management not having a tool to identify where are the priorities were running after everything at the same time, going down to the people and creating additional work on the, on the people as well. So uh, uh, hence micromanagement. Um, and just to, to make it clear with regards to the, 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 the difficulty of, of knowing what the priorities were, at any given time you might have several different airplanes in the hangar and on each airplane you would be simultaneously doing work in the cockpit, work on, on the undercarriage and work on the engine and you had difficulty Id identifying at a given hour or a given day what was the most important task that should be being accomplished mm. and you tended to change your mind sometimes and therefore generate what you call you know, multitasking, stop that and do that, you have to do that now. Absolutely, we, we were doing it the um, traditional way Basically, uh, the uh, team leader in charge of the project in the hangar, uh, like a, a, an experienced mechanic, was organizing the work. Uh, it's a great responsibility, um, but the project being uh, like more and more complex and heavy, uh, it's it's a huge task and uh, responsibility if you to, to you know if you do not have the tool to do it correctly. So the guys were doing a good work, but. Uh, we, they didn't have the tools to do it better, and that's what we did. Okay, and to give you an example, one of your largest uh, jobs is uh, the maintenance after 96 months of an, an airplane's mm -hmm. life, uh, where you you go fairly deep into the inspection and, and, and so forth, uh, and uh, that takes how long, or took how long? Um, initially, we were t taking up to nine weeks to perform this maintenance event. And uh, the process that the, the, that's that's where we applied theory of constraint to uh, improve this downtime. Okay, so you you've got the, in, in this business, of course, the time is the key. Trying to make it shorter, shorter for your client and shorter for yourself, so you can better use your hangar. And you attempted to use the, the critical chain of the theory of constraints to, to to improve all that. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, you felt that the, the, the durations of your projects, the, the, the downtime or the turnaround time of your airplanes was, uh, was too long and that there were other issues, and uh, you decided to try and improve using the theory of constraints, the uh, critical chain project management approach. Can you tell us how you, you came to that, uh, that decision? Absolutely. We, uh, in Embraer, we have a uh, cooperative program that's called P3E for um, Embraer, uh, entrepreneurial excellence program. Uh, it is a, uh, an adaptation of uh, a, the uh, uh, Toyota Lean um, philosophy, and uh, it really goes top down. Uh, as such, Embraer is a learning organization, 
and uh, I was lucky to uh, be invited to a, uh, um, a training in, uh, in the US by uh, University of Tennessee on MRO, Lean MRO. I was uh, absolutely amazed by the uh, potentials, by, I was seduced by the philosophy itself uh, and by the uh, potentials in terms of results that we could achieve thanks to this, uh, the implementation of this philosophy. And when I came back here, I decided to uh, find ways of implementing uh, and deploying uh, this uh, um, uh, solution here. Uh, and what did you find so uh, attractive or interesting in, in the, what, what you discovered was the critical chain? Um, the, the focus, organizational focus is the first thing, uh, understanding exactly where are our priorities in order to have an organization that is capable of, uh, as a group, to focus and resolving uh, securing the outdate of the project um, and uh, um, as we are all lazy uh, like reducing our workload mm -hmm. okay and so uh, you decided to do a, a pilot pro project on, on uh, an airplane uh, absolutely we, we decided to uh, um, apply this uh, to uh, uh, the what, what we call a 96 months inspection uh, event that occurred uh, from mid-August to uh, uh, early um, September and uh, uh, so we prepared thanks to uh, we prepared this project uh, with the help of Maris Consulting um, in order to uh, uh, reduce the downtime uh, and uh, really implement critical chain within the organization. So you decided to, to implement uh, critical chain project management. Or can you tell us uh, what the results were? Uh, yes. Um, so for this first uh, implementation, we were happy to see the uh, turnaround time or the aircraft downtime um, reduced by 40%. Um, as I mentioned earlier, our uh, TAT for this specific inspection were up to nine weeks and we managed to reduce uh, drastically to five weeks. Uh, and we also reduced uh, or improved our efficiency because we spent 13% less man hours to uh, uh, this project. Um, as a result, the, the, the entire team also uh, is uh, uh, feeling the effect of uh, the project implementation. Um, management has a uh, overview of the project, we have a tool that tells us in real time um, where is the priority. Everyone trusts the tool and it's because we are managing it and we are confident that we are tackling the right priorities. So uh, the level of stress decreases, micromanagement doesn't or it has been reduced tremendously. Um, people feel more at ease and we are capable to uh, 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 track the progress of the, the project and, main, and, and secure the outdate uh, of the, the project. So it is, uh, all of this we didn't have uh, previously. Am I right in thinking that's because given that there is no, no longer the conflicts that you were having about priorities, there's this focus that you mentioned, uh, the mechanics will know that they have to do this job, they won't be disturbed. So they will do it faster, they will do it better, and there are less risks of uh, quality issues. Absolutely. We, um, we always try to protect mechanics from stress. Uh, it's very important. Uh, um, uh, it go, it's a human factor uh, consideration that we have. Um, and uh, uh, multitasking is, uh, is important. Uh, and they, uh, all this uh, uh, re reduction of stress uh, goes down to the entire team and uh, it helps uh, the organization uh, as a whole to work better in a better condition and uh, it's actually it's an actual outcome of the, uh, uh, the, the the project we did perform interviews of the personnel after the uh, uh, main the, 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 the implementation of CCPM and they will tell you uh, later on uh, about the benefits that they uh, uh, felt out of this implementation a few months ago you concluded your your pilot going from nine weeks to, to five weeks uh, and where are you now where are you going so um, uh, following our lean philosophy we uh, our objective is to continue to improve 
um, the, uh, obviously the first steps is to extend the critical chain implementation to all the maintenance types that we, uh, we, we, uh, we treat in the hangar for all the aircraft, all the uh, um, uh, types of inspections of course. So you uh, and you think you're, you're, uh, you're going to have the same kind of potential imp uh, improvement as what you saw in the pilot uh, reductions of 40% uh, or more? Absolutely. Uh, and we will continue uh, seeking additional redu reductions um, and uh, um, we will um, focus on, uh, uh, on, on these improvements to be sustainable it's the, uh, uh, on top of our lean philosophy uh, and uh, um, also to increase this, uh, uh, the, the trust in the outdates of uh, um, the every project, um, regardless of uh, the variability. Um, uh, it's an interesting aspect to say about this is before we were committing to a date, but we would, for every variable that would come up, okay, we would have to face it and probably renegotiate the outdate with the customer. This time, what the, the strength of the tool is that we, the variability being included in, in the management, um, we are able to say, well, we take into account variability and the aircraft will come out on time. Okay. Um, in, in, in your facility here, you do many different aeroplanes and big jobs and small jobs, uh, but there is this, this, this example of a 96-month uh, uh, check, which is the equivalent of a check C in commercial aviation uh, approximately on uh, one of your your, your, plane, your airplanes, the Legacy. Uh, you used to take nine weeks, now you got down to five weeks, which was a world record, mm -hmm. and yet you're calmly saying you're going to do much better. Why are you so confident? Because we are uh, confident with the, uh, uh, with the, the, uh, the sustainability of the, uh, the solution. Um, and we see it now, uh, the, the tool, the, 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 the process, uh, the, 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 the way we do it now, uh, being so different, being so much powerful, um, uh, I do not see why we, we, we cannot continue in this, uh, in this progression. Well, thank you very much. Welcome.